In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about electromagnetic induction. Electromagnetic induction is the ability to transfer energy from one coil to another. For example, I've got this coil in my hand here, and I'm just going to put it around this other coil. And if I do this carefully, I won't get shocked. I'm going to show you how much power is coming out of this coil. I'm getting a tremendous amount of power out of this, and they're not even connected to each other, electrically speaking. Now, the interesting thing about this is I put some steel bars inside this coil, and if I remove them, the spark you get out of the coil isn't near as large because there isn't as much energy transferred. You can see it's nothing in comparison to what it was. These electromagnetic waves are amazing. Here's another little gizmo I like playing around with. You can set a magnet on here, and as long as the coil's on there, it causes causes the magnetic filings to realign. You can hear it rumbling here. A lot of these electronic principles are somewhat intuitive. You just have to sort of play around on them to help you better understand how they work. Now this coil here, I often use this coil to demagnetize TV. Sometimes uh, you get a TV gets exposed to a magnetic field and the color gets smeared like this. So you'll get a, a real, oh, well, my camera's picking up a black line that isn't really there because of the scan rate. <laughs> How strange, I can see that on the screen, but I, I use this coil oftentimes to wave it in front of the TV like so, and it actually cleans up the picture. Now I've got a normal picture again. Well, as normal as it'll get for a video picture anyways. Another way you can demagnetize a TV set that's uh, got a problem like that is just by spinning a magnet in front of it. For example, you can take and smear the color again. You can see you've got two smeared colors, and then you can spin a magnet around like this, pull it away, and voila. As long as you've got a north and a south pole on the magnet, and all magnets have north and south poles, you spin it evenly. You can foul up the color, and then you can uh, see you've got a pink on there. You can spin the magnet again, clean it up. Now, another fun thing I like to do to demonstrate the principles of induction is to show people how you can make sound come out of a magnet. Now here I've got a coil that's hooked to my um, stereo where the speaker used to go. It's got about 8 ohms of resistance in the coil and I can simply put it around this magnet and we hear music coming out. I hope it picks that up. Anyway, yeah, I'm picking up a song on the radio there and it's actually coming coming through electromagnetically. Now I can also take this coil I can put this coil around this metal ring here, and I can set it inside this coil. And believe it or not, if I touch these two wires here, which I'm not sure I want to do because it usually hurts. Ow! That hurts. I'm getting shocked. And the music is generating the energy. It's putting a magnetic field into this bar, and the magnetic field in the bar extends outward, penetrates the coil. And so every time they beat a drum or whatever, or somebody talks or sings, when I touch these two wires on this coil here, even though the two aren't electrically connected, I get a shock. Now, one of the things I do in my troubleshooting business is uh, a lot of times I'll get a power supply and it looks something like this, and I'll have to uh, determine what the problem is. Now, what I've got here is a, uh, it's actually a suction cup. It's one of these devices you, you see in the old days if you wanted to record somebody's telephone conversation, you'd simply put the suction cup on the phone and you could put it on the back like this, pick up the phone, and you can hear everything going on. The other thing I do with this amplifier is I use it to test uh, switch mode transformers and power supplies. For example, this particular, uh, well there's music coming out of this right now, I'll show you why. I've got a coil over here, when I put it near here, it actually picks up the music. Let me pull that bar out of there. Yeah, it's actually picking up that music there from this coil, which is fed into this amplifier. Anyway, I got a little sidetracked. Let me let me turn off the background music. I don't want to mess this video up with all that music. Um, if I'm troubleshooting a switch mode transformer, sometimes I'll take this amplifier, I'll take this suction cup, and if I want to know if the transformer is working, I'll just hold this 
next to one of the transformers and if it's got current passing through it I'll hear it come out on my little amplifier here now just to demonstrate how it works I'm going to turn on my copy machine here and show you how I can scan different parts even on the outside it picks up electromagnetic waves you can hear the uh, amplifier playing the sound when I move it to different parts well, it's not that loud. What has a more profound effect is turning on my computer. So let me try turning on this computer here and you'll see. You'll hear similar hums like this when you're um, scanning across your switch mode transformers and your power supplies. And uh, you would hear the same thing. You would just put your your inductive coil next to the transformer. That's one way to do it real quick, just to see if it's at least pulsing or not. You can get confused by all the different pulses. I mean, even a TV puts out a certain amount of pulses. You can turn this TV on, for example. You can hear a loud buzz coming out of the TV just by putting it near the screen. Uh, another little fun thing to do. Let's see if I can do it here. If I take my uh, magnet, I'm going to set this down here to do this one. I'm going to hold my induction coil next to this magnet and I'm going to going to spin it around and you can actually hear the electromagnetic waves as I spin it next to this thing. I hope it's picking up the sound. Let me move it a little, a little closer to the uh, camera here so you can hear the sound a little better. But you can actually hear electromagnetic wave fluctuations by this thing. Anyway, that should give you a little bit better understanding of induction and how it works and how you can shock yourself with it. And I, I like to hook this thing up for the kids a lot of times. They're, they seem to be rather fond of shocking each other and they like to challenge each other to see who can handle the biggest shock. So uh, if they want to do it, I'm all for it. I just don't want to be the person holding on to these wires when I put this coil around the outside here like this. Anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll add any more to this video, but I'll stop it here for now.